traveling in grace and his mercy on this day. Yeah, thank you. I thank God for traveling in grace. Thank you, hallelujah. I Sunday school yesterday at this time. I was going to go to the fire to get home. Yeah. But God spared me here. And when I got here, I found everything all right. True, I thank God that he was so good to me. He allowed me to come into his house on the day. I come to tell God, thank you. Thank you. Keep our pastor in prayer. Hallelujah. That old stomach ain't nothing to play with. Yeah. Well, I'll put you down with some other stuff. Yeah. So just keep him in prayer. Yeah. Yeah. But truly, I thank God for this one more opportunity to attempt to stand up and say something to him. Come on, come on. And say something for him. Because see, I like to talk to God also. Amen. Anybody here every now and then, you like to talk to God. Yeah. yeah. See, it's good to talk to God. Yeah. He won't tell nobody what you were talking oh, about. Yeah. But he'll fix it. Yes, he will. Yeah. But for those of you who got your Bible, if you will go with me quickly, I don't intend to hold you long. All right. But if you will go with me to the book of Philippians, the second chapter. And we're going to start around about the fifth verse. That Philippians 2 and 5. Amen. If you say amen when you got it. I don't want to run off and leave you either because somebody found out the word of God is good for what else of us. Yeah. I mean, when, 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 when a good power won't work, the word of God will work for us. Yeah. It goes on to say, let this mind be in you, yeah. which was also in Christ Jesus, yeah. who being in the form of God, Thought it not robbery to be equal with God, but made himself of no reputation. He didn't brag on himself. And took upon him the form of a servant and was made in the likeness of men. And being found in fashion as a man, he humbled himself and became obedient unto death, even the death of the cross. Amen. Wherefore, God also had highly exalted him Amen. and given him a name which is above every name. That in the name of Jesus, everything yeah. should bow yeah. of things in heaven All right. and things in earth and things under the earth and that every tongue should confess that Jesus Christ is Lord yes. to the glory of God the Father. Yes. And that every tongue should confess. Mm -hmm. For just a few minutes, we got to tell them all about it. Yes. All right. All right. All right. You, you know how we are. Yes. We'll tell some of it, but we won't tell all of it. Yes. A lot of times, you know, we begin to tell a story. We gonna tell the good stuff we did. Yeah. But you know, we ain't gonna tell about the messing up that we did. Yeah. You know, if you're a baker, you know, you'll tell when a good cake is made. Mm. But we don't tell about all the falling cakes that we threw in the trash. Right. <laughs> but it's some stuff we ought to just go and tell it yeah. and get it out of the way. Right. I mean, I mean, you ever find out that when you're holding back the secret that you really want to tell, yeah. it'll eat at you and eat at you. Yeah. Yeah. You be looking for somebody to confide in. You know, somebody to tell about it. Well, I've got something real good to happen. Yeah. Uh -huh. But you calling folks and texting folks and Facebook and folks about the good thing that done went on. Yeah. But how many of us would get around and tell somebody about the good thing we call Jesus? Yeah. You know, we can come into church and we all sanctified. Uh -huh. We can come into church and hit us some good hallelujahs. Yeah. We can come into church and hit us a good thank you. Yes, but when we get on our job, yeah. we, are like, we don't even know who Jesus is. Yeah. You know, somebody playing the gospel, you walk by and turn your nose up. Yeah. Talk about this ain't the place another time. Uh -huh. But somebody find out wherever you at. Yeah. It's the place and the time to tell somebody about the goodness of the Lord. Yeah. Scripture says, let this mind be in you, uh -huh. which was also 
in Christ Jesus. Yes. Yes. Jesus didn't try and make no reputation for himself. That's right. But if you notice, everywhere he went, he would tell somebody about the Father. Yes. Yes. He went so far, one point could say, I didn't even come to do my own will. Yes. Yes. But I come to do the will of the one who sent me. Yes. I believe that the time has come to say, oh, I'm not trying to do my own will now. Yes. But I got to do what pleasing in the eyesight of the Lord. Yes. We're going to quit being people pleasers. Because yes. have you noticed that a lot of times, that long as man is pleased with us, yeah. we don't worry about whether God is pleased or not. Uh -huh. Represent that we're doing our job. We'll talk about people. Uh -huh. We'll scandalize people. Yeah. But then you can't beat us in here on Sunday morning, uh -huh. jumping and shouting. Uh -huh. But at that point, who are we pleasing? Man, man of God. I heard the disciples say, it's better to please God uh -huh. than man. Yeah. Yeah. The way you want to please God, uh -huh. confessing that Jesus is Lord. Yeah. And he said, let this man be in us. Because yeah. see, the devil got free reign of our man. Yeah. And if we're not careful, the devil will fool us. The Bible says Satan is a crafty creature. Mm -hmm. He's very subtle. Yeah. I like to say he'll whisper some sweet nothings to you. Yeah. But at the end of the day, that's not all they are, some sweet nothing. Because yeah. right. whatever the devil would tell you, ain't going to amount to nothing. Right. He'll fool you out in that muddy water, yeah. and he'll leave you. Uh -huh. yeah. You know how the devil will do you? Yeah. Oh, it's okay to do this. It's okay to do that. But when the repercussions and the consequences come, where is that old devil in? You know, the Bible they even said that he's the accuser of the brethren. No doubt about it, when he fool you, he's going to tell on you. You know how we are. You know, we'll tell on somebody else, but we don't want to be told on. You, you slip around and you see somebody up the road doing the things that we do. We'll come back and tell everybody what we saw them, man. And we're not even mindful in order for us to see them now. We have to be there also. See, we don't think about it when we're telling old folks that we got to tell on us also. But Paul will teach you right there, let this man be in you that was also in Christ Jesus. One thing about the mind of Jesus he was real humble. Yeah. One thing about the mind of Jesus, yeah. he wasn't messy. One thing about the mind of Jesus, he actually loved his brethren. Yeah. What kind of world would we have if we loved everybody? Yeah. If we quit finding fault yeah. and start finding favor yeah. 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 You know it's easy to tear somebody down. Yeah. But it's also easy to build somebody up. Yeah. If you think about how would you feel if somebody said that same thing about you? Yeah. How would you feel if you walked up on somebody talking about you? Yeah. How you talking about them? Yeah. But Paul would let the church know let the same man be in you yeah. which is also in Christ Jesus if the church was to catch on board with that right now, yeah. I imagine the Bible said one can put a thousand to flight. Yeah. Two can put ten thousand to flight. Yeah. My God, how about if the whole church, how much could we put some folks in flight? Yeah. See, we really could keep the devil right in here. All right. But the devil will whisper some sweet methods in our ear. I believe that all the Bible says, seek the Lord. Right. Why it may be found. Yes, yes. Call upon him yes. while he is near. Yes. Because see, if we focusing on God, the devil can't sneak up on us yes. then. Yes. If we talking to God, I don't care what the devil whisper, we can't hear him yes. for right. hearing what the word of God says. Yes. But we see right here uh -huh. that God 
said he gave him a name that is above every name. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You know, it's funny. Since some of my mankind, we love dropping names. <laughs> Just say, you know, we got a boxer here for some color that he won a whole lot of fights. And some people take honor and say, I know Roy Jones. But how many know that Roy Jones still need God? Yes, sir. You know, like them people drop the name talking about Michael Jackson, mm -hmm. the king of pop. Yes. But how many know that when the name was called, he had to answer that call? Yes, but at the name of Jesus, yes. the Bible has said Satan yes. has to flee. Yes. God himself said, I gave him a name uh -huh. that is above every name. Yes. He is above Michael Jackson. Yeah. He is above Michael Jordan. Yeah. He is above LeBron James. Yeah. A lot of times we stop at what earthly man can do. Yeah. But God then gave us somebody who will fix it where earthly man can do that with the problem. Yeah. 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 Yes. Thank you. See, whether God had it exalted him, yeah. exalted me to lift up. Exalted means to encourage. Exalted means to give joy. I mean, I think this is a good day for the church to exalt one another. To let them know everything will be all right. God had exalted him and given him a name. See, God, Jesus is not a figment of our imagination. You know, you look in social media now. You got people saying that Jesus wasn't real. You got folks talking about he was just a minor prophet. Some say he was a major prophet. But I got news, he was the true and the living God. Come down to the flesh of, in the form of flesh. The Bible says he was the word of God. Made flesh to come down and dwell amongst us. So it is something to Jesus. And when God has exalted him, yes, yes. that lifted him up. Yes, How come man cannot lift up the name of Jesus? Yes. See, power in that name. Yes. It is deliverance yes. in that name. Right. It is healing yes. in that name. Yes. When tears are in your eyes, yes. I dare you to steal away hey. and call on yes. the name of Jesus. Yes. Yes. How do you know he will yeah. make it all right? Yeah. Yeah. The Bible said that heaven yeah. even declare yeah. the glory of the Lord. Yeah. So what's wrong with man mm -hmm. declaring his glory? Mm -hmm. It said the name of Jesus. Every knee should bow. Yeah. And every tongue will confess. Yeah. See, one thing, when you get into that position of being bowed down, yeah. you are in a state of submission. Uh -huh. yeah. You can't do much on your knees but pray. Yeah. Yeah. We try to go down and we'll play like we pray. Yeah. But if you want a breakthrough, yeah. you want deliverance. Yeah. When you bow your knees, uh -huh. you ought to be saying, Lord, have mercy on me. Yeah. Stop worrying about what somebody else is doing. You know what I'm saying? When you go to God, yeah. and you can talk about what your brother doing, yeah. but that's a good thing to say it's me. Yeah. It's me, it's me, oh Lord. Yeah. Standing in the need of prayer. Yeah. See, I don't care how good we've been. Yeah. I don't care how many good acts we've done. Uh -huh. We still are standing in the need of prayer. Yeah. Just cause you made it on yesterday. Yeah. Yeah. You don't know what tomorrow may hold. You don't even know what this evening may transpire in yeah. yeah. So while it breaks in our body, if it clothes in our right mind, yeah. we ought to be crying, it's me, it's me, oh Lord. Yeah. I'm standing in the need of prayer. Yeah. See, one thing about prayer, that's communication between God and you. You can go to God and tell him anything. Uh -huh. And he won't hold it against you. Yeah. But you know if you go tell certain people, they not going to wait till you out the door. Uh -huh. They done already call and start telling your business. Yeah. They done already start texting yeah. in a good blast text. Uh -huh. 
everything that you done told her. But one thing about it, if you tell God, yeah. He won't tell nobody else. Yeah. And the thing about it, when you tell God, yeah. He's the only one with the power to fix it. Yeah. We used to sing a song about fixing Jesus. Yeah. I believe we don't got to forget that Jesus, He will fix it. Yeah. If you're sick in your body, yeah. stop going to Facebook. Yeah. Tell the folks, come out, pray for me. Yeah. Get in your secret closet yeah. and begin to cry out. Yeah. Lord, fix it. Yeah. Yeah. I found out yeah. he really is a doctor in the sick room. Yeah. Yeah. I remember, I think about uh -huh. the woman with the issue of blood. Yeah. Right. When she said, if I can just touch the hill, the H E H E H E L of his God. But in order to touch the H E L, she had to touch the H I M. Yeah. Right. She had to touch the one yeah. who had more healing in his H E M. Yeah. The yeah. doctors got enough medicine yeah. in this world. Yeah. Amen. It's a reason. Uh. When God said, I gave him a name yeah. above every name. Because yeah. it's truly healing in his name. Yeah. It is truly deliverance in his name. Yeah. It's power in his name. Yeah. Enough power that for whatever habit you done picked up that you desire to get rid of. It's enough power to put that after down. Yeah. He truly is a habit breaker. He truly will pick you up and turn you around. We done got this bad habit of looking everywhere but unto the Lord for what we need. People talk about Ayana, fix my life. I got news. She need her own life fix. People are looking for the psychic, Miss Cleo. Miss Cleo didn't know it was a federal indictment waiting on her. And she didn't know about her own life. Uh -huh. How in the world was she going to know about our life? Yeah. Yeah. But the scripture say, look unto the hills. Yeah. For when coming yeah. out of hell, yeah. our help will come from the Lord. Yeah. I found out uh -huh. that he is a way out of nowhere. Yeah. Is it anybody here? You done tried him already.
the door. And he knocked. And if we open the door, he will come in and suck with us. See, Jesus ain't no burglar. And he ain't no robber. He's not going to kick you down now. He's not going to jump through your window. He ain't Santa Claus. He ain't going to come down the chimney. But I dare you to say, Lord, I need you. And I can't do nothing without you. You'll find my walls don't stop it. Prayers the bars don't stop it. A hospital bed won't stop it. But wherever you call on him, he'll meet you right there. He'll meet you in the midst of your sin. He'll meet you in the midst of your depression. He will miss you in the midst of the legal problem. He will meet you in your hopeless condition. He says, seek the Lord. Why he makes me found. Call on him. Why he is still. Stop wasting time. Seeking the devil. Stop wasting time. Seeking chemical results. But call on the truth. In the living God, he will make a way. He'll pick you up. He'll turn you around. He'll come sit about you. He'll dry your weeping eye. He'll heal your fever body. If you don't believe it, I ask you to try. You'll find out that the best try in your life. Some of us tried everything else. It would find out that it didn't work. We tried men and we tried women. We tried alcohol. We tried gambling. We tried drugs. We tried lying. And we found out that it didn't work. So we found the law and found out not to the work. And something about that name is sweetness in the name. Enjoy in the name. Not just lift joy, but unspeakable joy in the name. He will make it all right. I wish I had somebody today who would say I'm sick and tired. I'm being sick and tired. I'm fed up with being fed up. And I'm going to come to Jesus just as I am. I look on the left hey. and the trouble on the left. Yeah. I look on the right and the trouble on the right. Yes, so I'm not going to look left. Woo. I'm not going to look right. Hey. But I'm going to look at the people. Hey. So when you come to that, hey. 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 see, I don't know what you're talking about. Hey. Hey. But I know from this way. Hey. When I was in the world, yeah. didn't know the left hand from the right hand. He stopped by and he picked me up. When I was lost in sin, didn't know which way to turn. He stopped by and he picked me up. He'd be like David. Watch me with his son. Though my sins were like scarlet, he will wash us white as snow. But he's not going to force a bath on you. You got to want to be washed. You got to want to be clean. God ain't gonna make you do nothing you don't want to do. Hey. If you don't want to be delivered, yeah. He's not gonna pour deliverance on you. Yeah. If you don't want to be saved, yeah. He's not gonna pour salvation on you. Yeah. But if you want to be delivered, uh -huh. or you want to be saved, yeah. how many know He'll do it for you? Yeah. He will make a way. Yeah. Ain't no time yeah. for 
being at the roadside picking the journey. We live in a perilous time tonight. Destruction is all around us. So he said, the day you hear my voice, quit saying it tomorrow. Who told you tomorrow will come for you? Whole lot of folks said, kept saying tomorrow. Tomorrow. And tomorrow never came. But God will meet you when you are. If you just call on him, if you just seek him, God will meet you right where you at. If you're in the mark, he'll meet you in the mark. If you're in the mire, he will meet you in the mire. But the good part about God, he's not going to leave you in the muck. He's not going to leave you in the mire. But he will pick you up. He will place your feet on something. That's a guy who won't. God is a very available God. We just got to call on him. I would like to ask the question, what is our hold up in calling on God? What is our hindrance in seeking the Lord? It has got old now. I'm not ready yet. Who told you you won't have time to get ready? See, one thing about it, death is sure. And we don't know when, nor when. Ecclesiastes has a time to live. But it's also a time to die. Yeah. And since we don't know when that time is, yeah. but it's going to have been appointed to every man yeah. a time to die. Yeah. So while you got breath in your body, yeah. why are you are clothed in your right mind? Yeah. Today really is a good day. Yeah. Grace and truth really is a good place. Yeah. You say, I came to Jesus Woo. just as I was. Yeah. yeah, I was filthy, but I came to Jesus. Yeah. I was messing up, but I came to Jesus. Yeah. I was in the midst of my sin, Woo. but I came to Jesus. He said, you just repent. He is faithful and just to forgive. Yeah. Is it anybody today? You fed up or being fed up now? Yeah. You sick and tired of being sick and tired now? Yeah. Come try the Lord. 